Hey guys, I'm Brianna, and today we're going to go over some myofascial release techniques that you can do with a therapy ball and your wall for the upper shoulders and neck. So fascia are these long ribbons or, or cords of muscle or tissue that are actually wrapped around our muscle and a lot of tension builds in between all of those fascia and how they're wrapped together and it affects how our body moves and how our body feels. And a little bit of massage every single day can really change how your body is feeling and moving every single day. So we're going to be using uh, Tune Up Fitness's Alpha Ball. I'm quite a fan of the Tune Up Fitness series for there, uh, it's firm, but it's got a little bit of softness. It's a good rubber that really grips the skin. And this alpha ball is a really nice size for targeting the shoulders and the neck area uh, and giving you enough room to work on the wall. So we're gonna start on the left side of the body here. And I find the best method is either to place it underneath, uh, from above or from below to kind of get it at the bottom edge of your scapula. And you can start working here and just bending a little bit into your knees to feel out, play around with those muscles along your shoulder blade. When you find areas of tightness, if it's too painful, don't go there yet. Kind of get to the edge of where it's comfortable and start to slowly work in from there. And you can also control how much compression, so you can take some of the pressure off or push back for a deeper massage. You're really in control of how everything feels. If you feel a knot, you can kind of work into it a little bit. Move slowly. Because when you're working with the muscles and you're applying pressure, you don't want to move too quickly and injure something. You might want to start to move it up a little bit, so I'm going to move it another inch or so. Now I'm targeting more of that upper edge of that shoulder blade and area and coming more onto the top of the shoulder. You can creep into that neck region. You can even shift over a little bit, start to do the other side and across the spine. When you target the spine area, you're really targeting all of the nerve endings that connect into the spine and how they communicate with your spine and the rest of the body. Moving around again, go a little higher. Right up there, you can feel that endings of the trap come down. Tightness there. You can move the ball up at this point when you're coming more into the shoulder region to give yourself a better angle. Rolling out where it feels comfortable, going with how your body wants to move, where it wants the pressure. This is a really great daily exercise in learning how to listen to your body, what it's saying, what it needs. Let's move up more to the neck area. Ooh, I've got some tension. <laughs> right around there. So I'm going to ease into it a little bit and kind of roll gently back and forth to loosen up that area. Ooh, that is tight. Mm. You can see, especially when working with the neck, how having a larger ball, especially something that's a little bit larger than a tennis ball, is really going to assist you whew, in targeting the right areas. We can even come more onto our side and target that outer protrusion of the shoulder, how it connects to the upper arm, getting on both sides. And we can start to bring that down the bicep and tricep a little bit more. I encourage you to work out more than just the direct areas of the arms and shoulders. Because all of the muscles are gonna affect how different things feel. You'll be surprised how loosening up the arms of, or the muscles of the arms, is gonna have a big effect on, on the muscles of the neck as well. Especially the forearms, we, we don't tend to get a lot of love 
on our forearms. The amount of tension, especially if you type or you work with your arms in any way, people who work in the kitchen. I'm going to do a series of this on the floor. It's a lot easier to work the forearms on the floor, but you can start to get a little bit of that action on the wall when you're doing your shoulders. The wrists are a really cool area to do. And notice that you can do this up and down or back to forth motion, or you can go in circles. And they're all going to feel a little bit different. So play with the different directional movements and see how they feel in the different areas of the body. You can do your hand. You'd be surprised how much tension we keep in our hands and our fingers. <laughs> the back side of the wrist coming down low. And then we can move on to more of the front side of the body. So coming here, this is another area where a bigger ball <clears throat> is a little bit more helpful so you're not quite so close to kissing the wall. And working, let's show on this shoulder. Up and down, back and forth. You might feel a lot of tightness in the pectoral area here. So go slowly right across the chest. Breathing deeply as you give yourself a nice little massage. I like to do all of the chest tissue here. Carry a lot of tension there. I like to even put the arm up and get some of that side region Let's go a little lower. Woo! Right into the ribs. So that was really just a few minutes of working on one side of the body. You know, a little bit of 60 seconds or up to five minutes on one area of the body or even more than that every single day can make a really big difference for uh, your overall posture, your alignment. And if you've got some ongoing issues, especially with pain or with uh, nerve tingling and numbness, myofascial release is going to be a big friend in helping you heal all of that and regain that vitality.